Hello everyone, it's Caribbean Knee, and welcome to the channel. Hope everybody just having a wonderful day and that you guys are in the best of health. Today I'm coming with an inspirational video and it's about wisdom and knowledge. It's about building foundational biblical truths. And the truth will certainly set you free. If you want to be free, it's principles to live by. And the perfect book I want to start out in this new year, in this new week, is the book of Proverbs, starting from chapter one, the book of Proverbs. And what Proverbs is actually saying, its purpose is to teach people how to be understanding. Hmm. Just and fair in everything they do. God knows we need this. They tell me understanding is the best thing in the world. And if you don't have that, you don't have too much. And to help the wise become good leaders. And God knows we need good leadership these days. Good, wise counsel. Good, wise leaders. And I always say, boy, if you've never been across the street, you sure can't take me. Everything starts here to get some wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because this is where it all starts. And this is God's word trying to open up our minds and our understanding that we may hear what the Spirit is actually saying to the church. So these instructions is to live godly lives from the counsel of the wise. And man, there's nothing like a wise woman that will counsel her daughter and give her good advice to live by. There's nothing like a father that will speak to his son and give him good advice to get advice to deal with the obstacles and problems in this world that we all face. So the key verse in this first chapter, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instructions. God is the key to your wisdom and your knowledge and your understanding. And what we need to pray for is, Lord, give me wisdom that I might be able to lead this family. Or give me wisdom that I may be able to be a good supervisor on my job. Lord, give me wisdom how to handle the bills and the pressures of life. Give me to be a wise servant. That's what we should be praying for this year. Also, we need to be praying that God will make us knowledgeable to understand the season and the time that we're in. And if you read your Bible, especially the 24th chapter of the book of Matthew, you will understand the time that we're living in. And understanding. Now, another text says, and all thy getting, get an understanding. Because if you listen to someone and they're talking, but you're not understanding what they're saying, because hearing is not always listening. So if you don't understand what they're saying, you haven't really got the truth and the meat of the conversation. For the most part, we listen to 20 to 22% of the time. Most people do. Because hearing ain't always listening. <laughs> My wife says some things to me sometimes, and I heard what you said, and I said, mm-hmm. But Deep down inside, I didn't comprehend what she said. Then she comes along and she says it again and she points some things out and I can get the meat of what she said the first time because we don't get it. Now we're just moving and we operate but we haven't comprehended. And it's the same thing when God be speaking to us. If we're not comprehending what God is saying, then we're not getting the meat of the whole meal. So, it says to all thy getting, get an understanding, which is the most powerful thing in the world, is a loving, godly understanding. So this word is rich in the book of Proverbs, rich, a foundation, no truths. The word is like a rock, a huge rock that can never be moved unless God wanted to move. And he said he will never move it because his word is going to be here forever. Proverbs is giving us instructions to live by. And there's nothing like 
a good operator's manual, which is the Holy Bible. The word is a strong towel, and the righteous run into it, and they are safe. You stick with the word, you're going to be okay. Because the word is strong, it's valuable, and it should never be tampered with. Because it is the lifeline to the kingdom of God. So it should not be tampered with for any reason. A building falls because something failed in its structure. Are you listening to me? The words from the words of the wise. The world that we live in now is facing structural failure. And it's self-destructing daily. And there's some people that have questioned God and has put their own destiny in jeopardy. They're on shady ground and shaky ground. They live and think that they're smarter than God. But Proverbs, just the word Proverbs means skillful living. Now, if you could have a skillful life, the skillfulness will help you balance your life and Balance the things that you must face. Balance the things that you must carry. Every problem, every circumstance, there's nothing like good balance. So what I'm saying to you is, this book of Proverbs will bless you, it will encourage you, and it will give you some wisdom and understanding how to get off of the ground and not be overweighted, but be, but be well balanced that you can get through what you are going through. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful word and we thank you for this wonderful series of teaching on foundation, no truths, principles to live by. God, show us and give us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding how to put this word in perspective in our lives and open up the mysteries of, of the kingdom of God to us through this series of teaching. And we expect it and we look forward to the wisdom of God being manifested in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Be encouraged and be blessed. Walk with the wise. And if you walk with the wise, you shall be wise too. But if you walk with a fool, you shall be also foolish too. So, in the meantime, between the time, Always remember that life is to be enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscription, notification, and that thumbs up. And leave your comments. And guess what? It's that simple. And we'll see you on the next video. And may God give you the wisdom of the kingdom like never before.